a roadmap to the future begins today. For Kentucky farmer Joel Armistead, planning for the planting season begins now. Uh, even though it's rainy and dreary and cold outside, we're already working toward the planting for next year's crop. Uh, this past year, we've had uh, really good corn and soybean yields. Our corn, for the most part, averaged over 180 bushel to the acre. Uh, the soybeans uh, averaged over 40 bushel to the acre that there were uh, no-till and double-cropped after wheat. Armistead will gather soil samples from his fields and along with the yield data he's collected this year, takes it into his retail distributor for a visit with his crop specialist. This time of year, Joel brings in his soil samples so I can send them off to a lab and then when we get the results back, we look at the uh, phosphate and potash needs and nitrogen and also the uh, micronutrients. And Joel will come back in at that time and we'll sit down and, and make him a mix for his, his acre. On Joel's corn, uh, he has some acres that uh, we will use some uh, of the new 1479 Pioneer corn for some stress acres out there that'll do good when the rain cuts off. Uh, on some of his irrigated acres, we'll use the uh, 2089 and the 1197. That's a 111 day maturity and 120 day maturity. And that'll spread his risk out and hopefully give him some, some great yields where he's irrigating on his corn field. On his soybeans, he will have some full season beans and we'll pick the maturity of that soybean that suits him for the fall harvest. Uh, we'll also pick out which beans are best for his disease problems. He has some sudden death syndrome and Pioneer has some very good varieties for that. Taking a look back at last season, his corn and beans have improved and Armistead wants that to continue. By applying proven methods, tested techniques and monitoring the soil and yield data through science and technology, Armistead has a very good idea of what to do for yet another high yield crop next season. Uh, we want to be as cost effective as we can in these applications and not over or under apply. We also uh, talk about different seed varieties and their uh, trait characteristics. All these things that we go over with our crop specialists uh, can have a big effect on our bottom line and the bottom line is our most important line that we look at. Once the winter passes and the sun shines bright, Armistead is ready to begin another successful planting season. Casey Mason, RFD-TV News.